Well, uh, Colonel Mark Van Hey, uh, headed to the International Space Station. Um, uh, thanks so much for having some time for our questions. You know, you're uh, 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 just a, a, a short while out from from headed to space. I'm just curious how you're you're feeling right now. What you're looking forward to the most on this mission? Actually, Tarek, I'm very excited. I uh, when I when it finally got formalized, I realized that I had not been allowing myself to get excited. But then when it got finalized, I uh, felt so good about it that I, I realized it's just good. Um, the thing I'm looking forward to the most about being back on the space station is the complete freedom of motion. Being able to just flip upside down, hook my feet on the ceiling, um, swing around corners, let my feet go head first into a corner and then grab onto a, a handrail and let my feet swing wide and go feet first into the next module. I can I can only imagine. You know, you you mentioned just the getting ready to to to, to go. It seems like your flight came together a bit quickly uh, for uh, for a launch in April. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering kind of how uh, how last minute was that? It seems like you might have an open ended flight. Uh, uh, how do you make uh, those those plans uh, to head to space if if you're not sure when you're going to come back? Well, the first thing was the uh, me preparing for this flight was something that we had done as a contingency just in case we were able to, to get the seat. So I was, a, my job was to be ready to get in that seat. So even though it got announced very late, my training had continued throughout. Um, and then the possibility that we stay on orbit longer than the six months that's currently planned for me is always there. Things change. Uh, and when we're in spacecraft, we have to coordinate with the Russians, Roscosmos in particular, to determine when we get to come back. And so their needs are part of the equation, and we got to pay attention to those. If it does end up being longer than six months, my attitude about it really is it's a, a new life experience. I haven't experienced that before, and I'm excited to try it out if it were to happen. Is there anything about the station that you're looking forward to returning to the most uh, about just working on that? Not just the, the, the range of motion, being able to, to, to float in space, but um, uh, is there a certain spot that was uh, the Van de Hey spot from your last flight that you're, you're looking forward to getting back to? Well, the, uh, the resistive exercise device called ARED is uh, conveniently located right in front of the window that faces down towards the Earth. So I, I've always enjoyed working out, but when I get to uh, every sit-up you do, uh, you get a view of whatever place over the Earth we're passing over. That is an amazing, amazing thing to see. So I'm certainly looking forward to that again. Um, primarily, though, with the workday, I'm looking forward to the people I'll be on orbit with. It's a, a lot of folks that I'm great friends with, and I, I'm tickled pink that I get to go ahead and spend time up the air with them in orbit. You'll be on the space station at, at a really interesting time for human spaceflight, the 60th anniversary of, of, uh, of humans in space, uh, 40, 40 years since the, uh, the, the shuttle uh, first flew. And I, I'm wondering how, uh, how do you hope to, to kind of, I guess, reflect or, or, or look back on, on that, that legacy of human spaceflight when you're up there with an international crew uh, uh, looking forward towards uh, uh, NASA's Artemis program to go back to the moon? Honestly, I think I'm going to try really hard to just capture the moments, to, to, to notice the things that are unique about it, do, do a better job this time of, of journaling. Um, I really enjoy taking pictures, and I'm going to try to uh, do that as well. I'm also hoping to uh, call people on the ground and try to stay connected. You know, uh, about that connection, I'm curious kind of how, how you, you uh, uh, have uh, prepared your family for, for this trip. Uh, as you mentioned, you, you've been training uh, uh, for, for quite some time. Uh, I, I, want, I imagine it may be a challenge to have a, a, a traditional send-off uh, when, when you launch. Um, how, how are uh, you working with the family and, make, and making sure that everyone is, is ready and uh, uh, ready to go with just a few weeks left? Well, I think it started off with when I first got the opportunity to accept this. I made sure I talked. To, I have adult children now, so I talked to each, my wife, my daughter, and my son separately and let them know how I was feeling about it and asked them for their input, did they, whether or not they thought I should do, uh, say yes or not. Every one of them said do it. So that was the first step. The next step was uh, gauging everybody's expectations. I made sure that everybody knew the parameters, the, the full length, of time I might be away, including the training time leading up to this. And I've just made sure that we communicate. In fact, one of the nice things about the previous flight was when my kids were both in college, but NASA supported us having a weekly family conference where I, my wife in Houston, my daughter in Colorado, and my son in New York, and me on the space station, were all able to talk together. 
And that actually became a weekly thing we started doing even after the space flight. So <laughs> that's something that's really important to continue doing. Make sure you maintain those relationships in whatever way possible. Well, thank you. Well, Colonel Vanahey, I, I, I would love to talk more. Uh, I'm just about out of time, but thank you so much for, for giving us kind of a preview of, of, of your flight and uh, uh, safe flights and safe landings. Thanks, Tara. It's great talking to you, too.